Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. This is our Ohio vlog. Hello. Soon you'll also see a nice, cool, fun house tour that I'm gonna be filming sometime on the trip. And it's Valerie's childhood home. Yep. Well, one of them. She lived at, mostly at her grandparents. How are you doing, Valerie? Just fine, how is everyone? Leave in the comments down below. Okay. Also, Valerie, tell us about where we are. This is a town called Jackson, Ohio. Mm -hmm. That must be their outside dining. Oh, cool. Okay. Archinetti's. That's yes. where we're going to go eat for lunch. Yep. They have really good soup. Okay, now we're looking now for the title company. Yep. Honestly, though, this place is very scenic. It's like cute little town vibes here. Yeah, park on the corner. Oh, is that a drugstore? A uh, pharmacy? That, oh my God, it's out of business. That drugstore was in business. That Lewis Drugs? Yeah. Oh, COVID must have like caused it to bite the dust. Oh, that's a shame. That's been there for a while? Oh, it's been there like decades and decades and decades. It was oh, like an wow. old-fashioned pharmacy. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. We are at Arch and Eddie's now in the little patio area here. I took a picture of that because it's so pretty. But yeah, they accommodated Valerie and me. We want to do a video maybe next time we come of Valerie like sharing her like stories and stuff around town. I don't know. I just think that would be like cool for me to have and stuff. So what do you think, Valerie? I think it'd be fine. I think it'd be fine. Are you ready to come with me the next time? Yeah. And we just ordered, and I'll show you guys the food once it gets out. Don't let me forget to vlog the food. All right, so we got our food. Oh my gosh, like the food came out so fast, but I got a Caesar salad. The French onion soup here is so good. So if you're ever in Jackson County, like you should come here and try that. I got some fries, cause why not? And then my mom got fried tomatoes and um, some soup over there. Okay, so we are in Wellston now. This is Valerie's hometown and we're gonna go into the Rusted Barn. Um, some of my parents' friends own it actually. So so if you're ever in this area, check it out because they sell like really cute little, little home decor pieces. Look at how cute Valerie, this, this kitty is. Cool. Oh, oh, look at the cute. <gasps> so sweet. Look at this flamingo stuff. So pretty in here. My favorite thing that they have is definitely the florals. Like they pick out such good faux plants. They like match everything pretty much. And you can like be creative and like make anything. Oh, the sunflower section. I always see this on Facebook. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're always like changing out like inventory and stuff for, to match with the season. So it's really cool. The next theme in my room, I love that. With the greenery around, it looks kind of like, not wicker, but it's like that white uh -huh. color. It's really cute. Oh, that's cute too. I love like greenery and stuff. And then this is my favorite part when I see the live streams on Facebook. There's a little she shed and they have this whole little uh, section where it's like clearance and everything. This is their other kitty. Look how cute. Anyway, they also do really good um, furniture pieces. Like they do custom tables or you could just buy um, really good renovated ones that they renovate and make. So I don't know if they're doing custom pieces now, but I know that they do that. The cotton is really cool too. This whole vlog is just gonna be the rusted barn because they have so much stuff to look at. I feel like I still haven't like seen everything. Oh my gosh, there's the door holes. These are really good to like put on tables and stuff for like a centerpiece. So we're back at the hotel um, just because since we sold our little house, we are staying at a hotel and I just want to show you guys what I picked up at the Rusted Barn because I forgot to show you guys. Luckily, I'm just combining all the days into one video because I did not get a lot of footage today and very bad camera angle. We actually had Dairy Queen because I was watching Amanda 31409's live and she was like saying how good the fries were. So I was like, oh, I need to try that for the fries. So I had a hot dog and fries. The hot dog was like, eh, so I don't think I would recommend that, but the fries were actually really good. So she was right about that. How you doing, Valerie? I'm doing great, thank you. Okay, so the first thing I got at the rest of barn are these cute little pumpkins. They're like pillow knitted pumpkins and it says be thankful. And I know it's kind of early for the season, but um, it's always good to have stuff. So I'm thinking this one, if I get back in the office, will go on my desk or just buy my little nightstand. And then I got the mama version and they're just so cute. They're just like white, really simple pumpkins that will go with like anything and they really match my room and stuff. 
And lastly, I got this little fake potted plant because I think it will match my room too. And I just like faux plants. I think that's gonna be it for tonight's little vlog section. Um, and I'll see you guys in 2.6 seconds for uh, tomorrow, whatever I get tomorrow for tomorrow's portion, if that makes sense. The next day. Good morning, good morning. It is day two of our fun adventures. Good morning. And we are going to this lovely place called Portsmouth, Ohio, <laughs> um, because we need to return a uh, Spectrum equipment because, tell them the good news, Valerie, we closed we on a house. Closed on the house yesterday. Yes. Uh, with the first house. First house, we yes, were selling like two. House. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys a cool house tour later, so that'll be a, a separate house. video. Yes, and I'm really excited about it. Like she helped build that house, which is really cool. Yeah, I did, and little kid. Yeah, what year was it? About 1965, 66. That's very cool, very cool. Yeah, we're gonna return the equipment and they only re do returns of the equipment at actual, the UPS stores around. So this is the closest one. <laughs> An hour away. Yeah, so that's what we're doing first. And then uh, Valerie just has some meetings later today. So I don't know what footage I'm actually gonna get. Cause it's like really exciting. So far we just have this lovely view of a rainy day here. And this is the Appalachia Highway. Appalachia Highway it goes between Cincinnati and Parkersburg, West Virginia, I think. Very cool. At least, at least Cincinnati to Athens, Ohio. Yeah. So maybe to Parkersburg. Something you don't really see in Florida a lot, a mountain. We're seeing very scenic uh, routes on our way. So I'll show you when we come back if the GPS takes us that way. We're having breakfast of the champions. I hope so, if we can get up to the menu in time. Hopefully we have two minutes left. Two minutes left. So both of us got some hash browns in here. And I got a biscuit. Got my plain biscuit here and my hash brown. We're almost there. I'm just gonna munch down on this. Breakfast of the champions here, carbon up. Valerie's thrilled that we are in Mule Town. Mule Town, welcome to Mule Town. Yay. Mule Town. This is Mule Town. <laughs> There's a sign that actually says Mule Town. I don't know if yeah, we already I, passed wait, it. I don't, I don't know if they'll have one. It's on says, the corner. Yeah, I don't know if there will be one that says you are now leaving Mule Town. Oh. There was one that welcomed us here. Yeah. We came here on the way. Valerie's giving me a great lesson and tips <laughs> on the Amish people. We're in like a section where Amish people live. Well, I mean, not here clearly, but like houses that we're passing and Valerie's telling me which ones might be Amish. But yeah, I have like zero cell signal here. Okay, well, we got one bar. This is actually what I wanted to show you guys. It's like so pretty with all the greenery and everything. And there's like a, just a two-way highway, two-way road, I should say. A two-way road. Yeah, but Valerie's commenting on how pretty it is in this little area, very scenic. We're taking the scenic route. <laughs> It's beautiful back through here. Where are we, Valerie? We are at Rocket Pizza. Yeah, so Valerie took me to Rocket Pizza here in Wellston, and hopefully I'll remember to film the pizza, but I don't know if I'm gonna film in there. Okay, so we're so, sitting at this patio in Wellston. This is the Rocket Pizza little patio. I'm trying ski for the first time and it's really good. It's like a light version of like uh, Sprite or 7-Up. Okay. It's like less sweet. I don't know. It's pretty good. Oh, good. We got these Ripple's barbecue potato chips. Valerie said they're good, so they are. They're like little ruffles. I didn't say those were good. Oh. I she didn't say they were good. Oops. I've never had that brand before. Mm. Very good. This is what we had the last time. Mushrooms and pepperoni. Yeah. Valor and I are splitting a pizza, so I'm going to try one now. Let's try this. <laughs> I think you like it. Is it hot? Mm. Warm. Mmm. Like it? Mm-hmm. It's very tasty. Very flavorful. Like, it's not plain. 
the next day. Welcome to day three. There's Valerie. Hello. And we're just uh, gonna be at the house a lot today, like cleaning stuff out. There are lots of errands first. So yeah, we're gonna run Flat errands. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what footage I'm gonna get, but I'll include it. I guess that's pretty much the update for today. Valerie is still trucking along here. Just barely. She's got... Uh, She's just done a lot of stuff this trip. Oh, I also wanted to throw in here too. I am planning on making like a TikTok. So if you guys are really like, your attention span is not that long, you can just watch my TikTok of the house. Cause I'm gonna do like walk through like really fast and then like pans of the rooms. So there's gonna be tons of options for you guys to watch of the house. So <laughs> yeah. Say again, Valerie? It's not so much a uh, viewer's attention span, it's whether or not they are interested in some <laughs> old house that, you know, that they have never seen or cared Heard about. Of. Yeah. yeah. All right. So it's really more like that, I think. Yeah. We had a successful day today. We, we cleaned did. out a bunch of stuff. What else did we do? We talked to Donna about the listing. Yep. A lot of stuff. We had a bunch of stuff. And to celebrate, we're at Archinetti's again. So I got a soup. I'll show you guys when the food comes out and it's all out here, but I'm gonna dive into this right now. The rest of our food came out. There's my chicken and broccoli. And then I got some celery. Valerie over there got a ribeye steak, some onion, onion rings. rings, and a baked potato. Two days later. I'm just coming on to end this video, but I wanted to unbag a little purchase I got for myself. And if I try to remember, I will link it down below so you guys can shop as well. Oh, this is my Fabletics thing. Well, I'll show you guys this. I post for Fabletics on my Instagram, so this stuff is always so cute. Let's see. Ooh, this is cute. This is like a green little sports bra we have here. Then we have these burgundy brown colored leggings, super cute. I love their leggings and it has like a little zipper on the back. How neat is that? So it just like unzips like this. So you could like put keys or just anything you need in there. And then it comes with this cute little hoodie to go with the outfit. It's so adorable. It's like a loose fitting hoodie and it's like tie dye if you guys can see. And it's like a light cream brown and I absolutely love this. Definitely will wear this a lot, probably just like around the house. Well, I did order like this cute little white skirt and it's supposed to be here. So I don't know where it is. I'm gonna have to like look for it. Okay, so this is kind of funny, but I called Target because I thought my package was missing because it said it had been delivered, but like they dropped it off at like Davenport. So I was like really confused. So I called them and I was like, oh, where's my package? And they're like, it's been delivered. I didn't check the freaking mail. So I look like kind of ridiculous. But I got the package. I feel kind of bad for the lady on the other side of the phone because like I was a little like heated. But the only reason why is because it has happened to me before. They've lost my package, not Target in general. So, oh my gosh, how freaking cute is this? How freaking cute. I'm so happy. I've been wanting a skirt like this for so long. Also, I will link this down below so you guys can order yourself one. It was like literally only $25. So such a good price for this and... It'll look so cute on. I'm so excited for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was kind of like all over the place, but I just thought it would be fun to share with you guys and take you along my little journey. At least it's not like the same old footage that you guys normally see me doing. So I thought this was a fun, diverse video. Um, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.